This is my mom, Maria. Nice to meet you, Maria. Maria Cobo is 82 years old. A few weeks ago, her daughter Diana said she got diagnosed with atrial fibrillation, a heart disease. And she does have all the symptoms of atrial fibrillation, shortness of breath, heart palpitations, all that. The Cobo said Maria's doctor immediately recommended she take medicine to prevent a stroke. So they set up an appointment at MedStar Montgomery on the 28th for a required three-day hospital stay. But soon after, they got bad news. And they tell us that, you know, I'm sorry, um, we're not going to be able to take her. There's not any beds due to the COVID um, surge. So they rescheduled for January 4th, but the Cobos said they were told again this wasn't an emergency situation. Maria's care would have to wait. Wednesday, Maryland Governor Larry Hogan had directed Maryland hospitals to suspend elective surgeries. I try not to worry. Oh, I guess I just have to wait. I don't have another choice. But Maria wants to stay optimistic. I try to be, <laughs> I believe. God know what he doing. As for Diana, two years into the pandemic, she says she can't understand how the medical system can still get tied up. The nurse told me that it was the unvaccinated that are taking up the beds. You know, my mom doesn't get to have this medicine given to her that can prevent her from stroke and dying. I'm vaccinated. My mom's vaccinated. I'm boosted. She's boosted. My 13-year-old is vaccinated. We haven't grown three heads. We haven't had any crazy symptoms. It's boggling to me that it's become such a political issue. This shouldn't be about politics. It should be about what's best for society and safety of others. John Henry, W, USA 9. Now, we checked in with MedStar Health about this. In a statement, they said they are not delaying procedures or surgeries considered to be time sensitive. And they say that they're working every day to figure out how to make the best use of the resources they have at all 10 of their hospitals.